What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So for these past couple of days, I've been kind of releasing some content on Terra Luna Classic. And um, whether it's through Twitter or we're seeing something on YouTube and I've been talking about one specific thing that some people may be tired of, and it's a reverse split, right? The reverse split is um, a play that really it comes down to kind of that last and like final type of thing that you need to do in order to see success within um you know a business and typically a reverse split is very bearish right it's a very bearish sentiment and the reason why it's so bearish is because it's kind of that final straw it's that it's that last resort that you you need to do in order to help your business help your um cryptocurrency survive right and it's it's a tricky situation because why do we need to do this? And I kind of explained that. I did explain that in my last video and some people got it, but I put out a post today to where we got various comments. I always like to see how people um, you know, grasp it because if I put out a video explaining it, most people that are following me on Twitter also have seen that video. So I wanted to put out a post to say, hey, what are your thoughts on this? And then if people are still divided, well, now you have, uh, you still have some explaining to do. So <clears throat> I wanted to talk about that and talk about Terra Luna Classic and why I'm actually all in, right? What I've received on those, the videos as well as the um, the posts that I put on Twitter. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon. Both of those links are down below in the description. Don't forget about my kick. If you want to be a part of the kick streams um, and subscribe over there, you know, you can be another subscriber over there. I really appreciate all of you guys. The revenue split is way better over there than it is on YouTube live streaming. Don't tell YouTube. They they know because, you know, I'm I'm talking on YouTube right now. But feel free to follow me over on kick. <clears throat> it does help out with, with the channel and helps out support, you know, my family because this is how I pay my bills. So anyways, <clears throat> let's talk about this. As you know, I am all in on AMC. You know, when we look at my AMC or sorry, not AMC, why well, I'm I'm all over the place. Terra Luna Classic. I'm all in on Terra Luna Classic. <laughs> um and I am all in on AMC as well. But I'm all in on Terra Luna Classic. As you can see, like I have $4,749 worth of Terra Luna Classic or technically um, almost, uh, $6,000 worth of, um, Terra Luna classic. And, uh, I only invested $43. So I didn't obviously put everything I own in there, but I bought in at the lowest price possible. And now I'm holding a decent amount, which I've already collected a lot. So I am all in on AMC, all in on AMC. I keep saying it. I am all in on Terra Luna classic. I have my mind on, uh, a lot of projects right now. So I apologize, but I am all in on Terra Luna classic <clears throat> and we're about $6,000 in and I'm holding, you know, about 54 million or something like that. I'm holding quite a bit, almost 55 million at this moment. Um, and as a person that is holding 55 million, it kind of wouldn't make sense to a lot of people for me to come out here and say, Hey, we should do a reverse split. Because you know what a reverse split does, right? It takes your position, and if you're going to divide it by ten, let's say if you you uh, accept, you know that they're going to take ten of your Terra Luna Classic and give you back one, um, then it would take away a zero from yours. So instead of holding fifty five million, I would hold five point five million. But if they take away a hundred for every one, well, now we're taking away two zeros, and I would be at less than a million. I would be at five hundred fifty thousand coins. So for someone that's holding that much, why would I consider doing that if I didn't think it was a viable option? It is. It's a. It's not just an option to raise the price ceiling or anything like that. It's about the survival. The ultimate goal for Terra Luna Classic was to recover, to restore, to uh, save the chain, right? We minted so many coins and the way that you go about that um, the way you go about the survival of this is either decrease the supply heavy amount, which we tried for the last year, or you find a way to, uh, you know, reverse split. So you're decreasing that supply instead of, 
uh, you know, taxing everybody and going through it that route, you force people to, you force people's hands to decrease the supply. Yes, it won't be as profitable as people think, but it still will be profitable. Still having the ability to get up to a five, uh, a $58 billion market cap, but instead of it being worth a penny, it could be worth a dollar, right? Every single uh, coin could be worth a dollar. And then you have the ability to repeg. So reverse splits can work. And that's why I posted a video yesterday talking about this. And I also just recently posted uh, something on Twitter about it, which was like um, around 12 o'clock PM. It's currently 2.50. And you had a, a couple of people that were, um, or sorry, this is not even it. Uh, it's right somewhere. There we go, right here about it. I, 46 minutes ago, so um, about two o'clock. And uh, a lot of people were like, hey, you know, some people were like, Lunik is dead. Uh, my thoughts is uh, no need to save it. Um, the existing team uh, diverted away from the, the roadmap. There's no hope for Lunik. I thought, you know, Edward Kim and the team was doing great things. I was wrong. And honestly, I don't think that their, you know, crypto uh, warrior is wrong. They're saying that, you know, the team wasn't doing great things. They weren't doing the things to get Terra Luna Classic back to where it should be. The survival, right? The restoring, the the savior, right? You have to save uh, Terra Luna Classic. And the way we save it is one way, decrease that supply so that we can give us the chance to get back to normal. But if we don't decrease that supply, we don't have that chance. Even DJ Trev says, what would, what would that benefit? <clears throat> Wouldn't change the price. So as you see a reverse split, reverse splits, give you um that understanding that at the same market cap you will be worth a lot more because you have less of the supply that's out there it should ultimately decrease the price right from the start so you're going to see it at these levels and it will fall even more being worth you know instead of a what 500 where's that a no 350 million dollar market cap instead of being worth that it would be worth you would take away two zeros and you'd be worth a 3.5 it would stay the same price maybe even decrease right and that gives people the opportunity right to average down as the price is going in and as you see it collapse because of the fact that you have a reverse split on your hands you now see the opportunity of what terra luna classic can be with all of the places that it's available on and all the places that you can decide to buy it. The issue that you have with it when you're doing a reverse split is the fact that you have so many markets that you now have to access and have them agree to do that reverse split. So you would have uh, Binance that agrees to take its 2.6 trillion and do a 100 to one uh, split. And honestly, they would agree to that because it would give it the opportunity to increase the value, right? To increase up to a dollar at a $58 billion market cap, giving you the ability to repeg. It gives you that, that chance, right? That chance that you don't have if you don't decrease that supply. So honestly, like... I'm not saying this because I hate Terra Luna Classic or saying that saying this because I want Terra Luna Classic to collapse or anything. Um, I'm telling you that a reverse split has negative sentiment, right? You're gonna see Terra Luna Classic dive in price. You're gonna see it go from maybe even this price down to five zeros. And as it goes down to five zeros, it may be worth, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of a market cap rather than hundreds of millions, which is okay. It's fine. A cryptocurrency is not going to die. It's not a business, right? A business, it can fade away and, you know, there will be no more revenue. And then it, you know, is not publicly traded anymore, gets delisted. And that's, that's it. If Terra Luna Classic finds a way to get delisted from platforms, it's still on the blockchain. It's still going to be available and eventually it's going to come back up with all the volume and the access to this volume and seeing the, the future potential of where this can go market cap wise, get back up to a $360 million market cap and it's worth way more than where it is right now as you decide to invest more and more that's lower. So if it does decide to decrease in the price rather than increase right away, it gives you the opportunity to buy directly after the split, which means that you can hold just as much um, just by investing into it. You can hold just as much 
and see it absolutely skyrocket to some of these levels. Yes, you may go from 55 million <clears throat> down to um, 550 million or 550,000. But then again, if this finds a way to decrease as we see that split, it gives you the opportunity to buy at an insanely cheap price for Terra Luna Classic, and then you could still see the survival. I mean, in my opinion, that's a win, 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 win in everybody's book, but people don't see this. Um, the one thing we need is to give it the chance and we're not giving it that. So no matter how many, how much burns we're seeing right now, it's just not enough without the CEX volume because DEX volume is only 34,000 compared to the 15 million that's out there. That's not enough. Um, so anyways, that's just my opinion. I know it can be rough to take all of that in and, and say, hey, Matt, how can you truly care about a reverse split? I didn't in the beginning because I thought that burning was the way and that we would see burning on all places to where you can buy it, but we didn't. And the community gave up on burns, so now we need to force their hand, right? Um, and I'm part of that community. I hold 55 million and I'm comfortable. I am perfectly fine with going down to 550,000. I won't even do anything as people are ready for this reverse split and they sell beforehand, I still won't even do anything. I will accept the reverse split, how the reverse split's supposed to be. And I will decide to purchase more whenever I see it at a lower price. Because if I can find a way to get more, I will find a way to get more at those levels. And if I can easily get to a million as we see only um, you know, 58 billion that's out there or something, I'm definitely taking it. You know, so anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.